Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sastriyakal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Recently, we've been doing a lot of stuff on China and the coronavirus, and even more recent about the soldiers at the border that lost their lives. Yeah. You know, our hearts go out to all those families from both sides. Um, you know, we know how many soldiers were lost on the Indian side, and we've heard different numbers from different places. Um, about the China side, but no matter what, lives were lost, and um, but our hearts really break for those families that lost their soldiers. On the Indian side, they were able to have a celebration, to you know see them for last rites. Um, on the China side, I hear there's protests that they're not able to know who died. They don't know how many died, um, and there's so much secrecy. So the difference between India and China you know, openness, you know, closed doors, not telling yeah. the truth, and secrets and lies. What so, else do they hiding? Yeah. I mean, just so many things have gone on when the virus came out, you know, and they shut their doors completely. And now here's another one. So recently here in the U.S. from a reputable source, um, we hear what sounds almost exactly what india has been saying is that there were 20 indian soldiers they were saying close to 35 um, chinese soldiers um, were lost on their side um, but that talked about how the altercation went down and it's very similar to what india had um, said in their media which you know just goes to show like honesty and honesty go hand in hand um, yeah. In the news, we heard uh, on June 15th, a senior Indian officer and two commissioned officers traveled unarmed to a meeting place where they expected to be met by um, Chinese delegation troops to discuss a withdrawal. Instead, dozens of Chinese troops were waiting with spiked bats and clubs, which we saw pictures of, and yeah. began, began an attack. Other Indian troops came in for support. Um, leading to for more casualties, you know, and this is from the U.S. This is not from India. This is not from China. But then I hear China try to put out a report saying like some of their people were killed, but not as many as the Indian side. Um, but they weren't giving out any numbers. Um, it's just sad because we know there's been some protest and some of the Chinese people saying they want to know who died. They want to be, give respects to the, the soldiers that died on their side, and they're not given that chance because it's not a democracy. They have no say and no, no voice at all. Yeah. Um, so the video we're gonna watch now, this is what's still going on at the border now after um, the last time where there was casualties. Ready to watch it? भारत और चीन के बीच विवाद बढ़ता जा रहा है तो वही एक वीडियो वायरल हो रही हालांकि आर्मी की तरफ से इस वीडियो की पुष्टि नहीं की गई लेकिन इस वीडियो में चीनी सैनिक और भारतीय सैनिक मास्क लगाए हुए हैं जिसकी वजह से इस वीडियो को हाल के दिनों का ही माना जा रहा है हम इस वीडियो की पुष्टि नहीं करते की ये वीडियो कहाँ की है और कब की है लेकिन इस वीडियो में भारतीय और चीनी सैनिकों की मुठभेड़ साफ तौर पर देख सकते हैं You just think after the last fight that China would be backing off and not be starting the stuff again, like get on the other side of the LAC. Video, video. I'm glad nobody has guns right now. Yeah. Go back! 
in the report from the U.S., they said the General Zhao, who was the Chinese um, general that was in charge, put the order through to teach India a lesson, um, you know, and so that you don't we don't look weak to the U.S. You already look weak because mm-hmm. you can't even defeat someone without putting this biological war out. You can't defeat anyone. So as soon as you put that coronavirus out, that is when you proved you were weak. Yeah, that you couldn't beat anybody without biological warfare. Um, yeah. Just our opinion. But we know, um, you know, this is the time. So when you're at the border, you know, yes, punch for punch, go for it. Because that is the time to do it. Right in the moment, go, okay, now back off and let Modi and the politicians play some political chess with play China some right chess. now. Yeah. Because they really need... Um, to, you know, like this Tibet bill that, that they're trying to pass through that will, you know, acknowledge that Tibet's its own country. Yeah. You know, these things like going to the UN and talking stuff, this is when political stuff, you know, trade, let Modi talk trade, let the U.S. talk trade. Hopefully these other countries are jumping in on China and talking about, you know, cutting back on the trade and where's the not free trade fair trade Mm -hmm. you know dollar for dollar it it can't be china's making five and we're making one you know these are the things you need to let the politicians do now and um because like you said this is not this backfired on china big time if this was like some kind of tactic to shut up india india is not shutting up oh no um, we've seen the protest and, you know, burning Chinese products and banning Chinese products and taking TikTok off your this phone. This is exactly like, what China doesn't want you to do and you're doing it. So that mm-hmm. is great. Yes. Freedom of speech. Yeah. This is what we need. People speaking out against it. Um, you know, nonviolent protests on it. N- not buying Chinese products. Support mm-hmm. Modi on Made in India. This is what we want to see made in India all over the place, um, all over the world. You can take a lot of that. And I think that's their, what they're scared. This is like their tactic to try to scare India, shut them up so they won't do anything because they think they're stronger. But India is not backing down. We know this. No. And hopefully the U.S., I know we're more of a opportunist country where, you know, you do for me, I do for you kind of thing. But we hope and pray this Tibet bill goes through and that at some point Dalai Lama gets to go back to a free country. Um, Because I think that's, that would be wonderful. And, um, you know, they, I think they thought they could get away with it. Like, like nobody was going to see. China isn't getting in a way with anything right now. No. I mean, you may have closed your doors and not let people in, but satellite images have been picking up everything. It's not 1960 anymore. You can't just push your way across the border and think nobody's going to see it. You know, they have, they know when you've stepped outside your little tent that you put on the wrong side of the border. You know, they have images. They knew how many people went in and how many people went out. You know, if the U.S. knew how many were killed before you did and you have no idea like you you think you're living in your little bubble and maybe when you're inside your bubble but when you start to encroach outside your bubble people are gonna know it's a free country in majority of the world where people can speak out freedom of press freedom of speech you know even china still hasn't released the numbers they're not letting their own people know um you know lies after lies after lies like our package if you haven't seen that mail our package that said it was earrings that the police officer opened and um not really sure what was inside but not earrings whatsoever you know my husband's um boss went to china and you know he left his hotel room but when he came back there were um, two Chinese people inside his room, gentlemen that were hacking at his computer. And, you know, he had to start fighting with them. And he was like, I wasn't even sure I was going to make it out alive. Um, but just, you know, we've heard it from Trump, the patent, you know, stealing patents and all these things that we've heard, you know, is not in any favor for China at all. You know, starting this on the border didn't help your situation. If the world is already angry about, 
you know, the coronavirus. I, I don't think you want to piss everybody off even more. You think you're strong, but you're not. You know, and that's our freedom of speech. This is what yeah. we're saying. We also, like, this is not against the Chinese people. No. It's, they are silent they so are silent, much yeah. in China. Um, you know, they don't have Facebook. They don't have Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, none of this stuff. They can't get up on a platform in freedom of speech. The newspapers tell whatever the government wants them to say. You know, the TV says whatever the government wants them to say. You disappear if you say against them. Um, you know, we have a lot of friends that are Chinese friends that here in the U.S., um, some that have gone back to China, but they've come to our house, they've had dinners with us, they've brought gifts for the kids, we've given their kids gifts, like really great people um, that obviously don't follow what the Communist Party is saying. Yeah. So we want even the Chinese people to know who what soldiers died, to know, you know, what's going on in the world, what is the truth, and to have freedom of speech, you know, like India, like the US, like a lot of these other countries where you can get up and say, I like this, I don't like that, and that's your opinion. And um, you know, just our opinion. Yeah. In the matter. So I hope you guys like this. Don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful growing family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.